But again, I want to em emphasize that this is a very personal choice. Hey, hi. If you clicked on this video, you probably know what it's about. So maybe you're an uh, incoming grad student who is looking for validation on accepting your offer or you're someone who's thinking about grad school and wants to research a bit more about it. Hopefully I will help you with this. I'm a second year PhD student. I'm studying math and today I'm going to talk to you about why you may or may not choose to do a PhD. And I just want to do a disclaimer that these are just my opinions. You should really think about this a lot before you make your decision because a PhD is like four to six years so you're making a decision that's gonna affect the next like big chunk of your life um, so yeah it's something to consider carefully and I just want to note these won't be in any particular order of like most to least important just in the order of how I thought of them but without any further ado let's just jump into the topics so the first point is you're really passionate about a subject so as I mentioned, doing a PhD requires years of study and research and focus on like one niche thing. Like I'm studying math, but really I'm studying like a really specific problem in math and I'm just working on that for months and months. And because I think it's interesting, it's not like killing me to do this. Um, and likewise, if there's something that you're really passionate and interested about and just always want to learn more about it, then it might be a good fit to do a PhD where your research topic is about whatever that interest is. And doing your research on something you're actually interested in will make it much more enjoyable because doing this work is really hard work and if you also don't even care about what you're doing, I don't know how you would like make yourself be motivated to continue. So the second point is you want to make a difference or an impact to the world. So one of the requirements to get a PhD is to present and defend an original contribution to your field of study. So that's what I mean by making a difference. And if that's something that makes you really excited, then maybe doing a PhD would be worth worthwhile for you. And now number three is your dream job, whatever it is, requires that you have a doctorate. And this is a completely val valid reason, like doing a PhD just because you like something isn't the only valid reason if you need this to get to your end goal. That's completely valid too. Because there are some jobs that require it. So for example, in my case, if someone wants to be a research mathematician, you better get a PhD. Even with that, it's really competitive and hard to be able to make that your career. So this is like the first step towards that. So yeah, for this career, you have to get this. And there are many others like relevant to right now, usually people who want to work in research labs that develop vaccines or study diseases or treatment diseases, etc. Uh, usually to get this kind of job and be competitive, you will need a PhD. Um, and fourth one is for the more hardcore of you out there and it is a valid reason at least to me and this is wanting to be challenged so doing this degree makes you push your intellectual boundaries kind of like I said in number two you're contributing something original to your field of study so it's much different much harder I think than just in undergrad where you go to class someone tells you to do something and you learn it and understand it. It's much harder to like be the one making this material. You do have help obviously from advisors but it's still different than just learning something that already exists. So working through this degree will test your patience, your commitment, your diligence and your limits. Uh, and this, if this sounds like something you'd like to challenge yourself with, if you're a person who just wants to see how far they can go, this choice would, could be good for you. And the fifth one, it's specific more to my situation because every school is different, every field of study and cohort are different. It seems, at least in my case, that there's a strong sense of community when you're in grad school. Everyone is trying to work on their research problems and learn math and, you know, everyone has to do these milestones like take their qualifying exams, take their comprehensive exams and all that. It seems like when people are in like a shared space and under similar pressures, they tend to commiserate, I guess commiserate and 
form bonds over this. Uh, at least that's what happened at my school. I think this is the first time I really felt like I was part of a community uh, when I came to grad school. Side note, this is also why I like doing YouTube. There's also a nice community aspect to it. And the sixth reason is maybe not as strong as a reason, but I still want to put it, this in there. That is that you like the academic environment. And I put this in there because before grad school, I worked at a corporate job for a few years. I mean, that job was fine, like nothing wrong with it, but being in an academic environment is so much nicer to me. So if you're a person who likes libraries, likes going to seminars, just you know, learning all the time. It, it could be an enjoyable experience. So now the more negative part of the video, reasons to maybe reconsider doing this degree. So the first reason I think is a bad reason is you just want to be called Dr. So-and-so. So, I mean, yeah, it's cool to be called a doctor, but if, if this is like one of many reasons, okay. But if this is the only reason, I, I guarantee you it's not worth it. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. It takes so much time, and by time I mean like years. It takes lots of hard work, commitment, tears, sweat. And I think putting all of that in just to be called doctor is A, not worth it, and B, you might not be successful ultimately if you're, if like your heart's not in it. Um, the second option is maybe a bit controversial, but if you just want to make more money and there are lots of other uh, careers which don't require a doctorate where you do make a decent amount of money and it seems like at least in the case of math while you're in grad school you're basically you live at the poverty line and then after if you want to be a research mathematician you typically do a few postdocs and in those you seems like you get paid like the same as someone who finished their bachelor's degree and like went to work uh, at a bank or like something like that. So I think money is really not a good reason to do this. There are, there are like, there are quicker ways to get a good job than doing this. Also it seems like most people I know aren't in this for the money, just as a side note. Um, so that is all I want to say. Uh, I hope this helps people who are trying to uh, weigh their option. But again, I want to em emphasize that this is a very personal choice and you shouldn't just go off one video to make this choice. Like, uh, just do your research, think about it carefully. If you're watching this and can think of any other reasons, feel free to comment down below. I'm just one person, I can't think of everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.